right, it's been a little bit since I videotaped the first of our tours. I've been doing a lot of work on the rooms and I've kind of updated those. And if nothing else, I am documenting this for me because this is quite the journey and I want to remember it because I think this is going to be, rather than my kids, like probably one of the biggest things of my whole life because, I mean, it's not every day you get a house. And it's never that I've ever heard of anybody getting one for $100 other than like an inheritance or something. So anyways, thanks for coming back. And today is, I hope, the long-awaited tour of the upstairs. So let's give it a look. Okay, we're going to start our tour um, in the foyer area. You might remember this from the first video. The living room's here. The dining room is that way. The bedroom is behind me where I'm standing. And there's the store. And uh, this was probably to preserve heat, but also because it's this was the second story apartment. They were separated. This has its own door. This is the east side door that I've shown some pictures of on Pinterest. And I think this one would probably have to be original. I never know my dating very well, but it has transoms, some of which we had to replace nice bright area. I love the stairwell. And then back here, yee, guys, this is something I dreamed of, dreamed of, is owning a house with a big grand staircase. And now I have one and, oh, you guys forgot to give us a hundred dollar house. And then it to also be the house that I always wanted. I mean, it's, okay. Sorry, I'm gonna stop crying. <laughs> but anyways, this is the staircase, obviously, but it's nice and solid. It, we hope to someday, or well, help take this carpet off because it has seen better days, but it's kept it really nice. And then we're up here on our, sorry, the vent is running behind me for air circulation. Uh, we're in the stairwell and Back here, we have this tiny little room that I've never understood what it's originally for, but it has two great big windows. <laughs> and uh, and I, I've reason to believe, I mean, I think these are original. Why, why would they still be here otherwise? But maybe not, they look original to me. They're very 20s feel to them. Um, you can kind of see it there, kind of style. And then this wallpaper, I mean, it even has glitter on it. It glitters, I love it. And this is a closet now. It's gonna be my oldest daughter's closet. She'll probably have to share it with her sisters in a couple years. It's gonna be the teen girl closet where they keep all their stuff, because <laughs> there's a lot of it. And then it has, look at this, the marble. Uh, doorknobs and all this the old moldings up here all the old moldings are here they um, when they fixed the walls they only took it to the molding they didn't cover it in some of these rooms which is so wonderful this room is my favorite room in the house it's gonna be my daughter's rooms for now and when they get old I'm gonna kick them out and I'm gonna sleep here <laughs> when they move out. Uh, this room is just so nice and bright and I think it's about probably a 14 by 15 room. Nice high ceilings. It's gonna be lots of good space for the girls. I'm so excited for them to have this. As teenagers, more of the cool doorknobs. And then this is another um, closet and my younger almost teenage girl is going to get this one. That's the plan currently. And I did this cool treatment to the walls which I will explain in another video hopefully. Just want to give you a good view of this room. It's just gorgeous. Okay, and then this room has the old-fashioned doors that are combined from room to room. 
And so we're going to go into my younger daughter's room. It's not as pretty currently. Hopefully we can fix that. Uh, and there's the door that you would take to go out of it. And we do have a mess to clean up back there because there was a leak. And uh, I think we've got it stopped. The roof has been repaired. So that is so wonderful. But that was a big issue before we moved in. So we have to get some new carpet and do some repairs to that wall. And then this also has a nice big closet that was added afterwards. But it's big and it'll give the girls a lot of space. And then more cool doorknobs, but the hardware is different. I don't understand that. Back here is actually the door to the attic, which I have yet to go into it. I tried one day, but see, it's not, my husband says he can't quite stand up in it, so it won't really give us any square footage. I am hoping that it'll be something we could use for storage, but I don't know yet. Go out, out to the hall. Again. See, you can see we do need to replace the carpets. Okay. I'm going to come back to that room because of the vent that's running. It's on a timer. It should go off soon. Um, this room, I think, is considered the master. But just due to the way our house is all laid out, we are going to make this like an extra living room for the kids to put all their toys in. We brought a couple toys up to play with already. Um, and it's got a nice closet as well with wallpaper that I just adore. I, I love <laughs> what the, I think she probably the lady that built it picked out these wallpapers and um, she had good taste. But whoever added it had good taste if it wasn't hers. Unfortunately, this ceiling, we are probably going to, well, not probably. We're going to, for now, I think, end up putting the dry, or the drop ceiling back. Someone took it down, and then I guess realized that there was a lot up there. So now things don't work like they used to, so we're going to have to fix all of that. See? That's some one, fun, fun wiring there. Don't worry, it's not live. <laughs> uh, but look at that ceiling. Isn't that just awesome? It, and it rounds down. It's, it's a really cool ceiling. Okay, next up, the bathroom. Hi. Okay, this bathroom was remodeled. Obviously, this is not original. I vote that it was done in the 90s. My husband says the 80s. I don't know for sure. If you think you know, let me know in the comments. I'm going to try to turn this brightness down. There we go. This I love. It's a clawfoot tub, and it's a great starting point for this bathroom. So, hopefully, someday, um, there is some, uh, I just now noticed that. That this is fogged because it's a bathroom, but I'm not sure if that was how it was done originally or if somebody added that later. I'll have to research the view, like how that looks, if it's original or if you add it later, like how to tell. I don't know. Um, so this is a great big huge wall and I hope to be able to put like a vanity here for my girls because I'm going to have four girls using this bathroom to get ready for school in the mornings and it needs new flooring. <laughs> um, I did want to show you this though. This closet's crazy but look at this old wallpaper and the wall, the ceiling above it. It's pink and rounded. I... I don't you just wish you could like walk into an old house and like snap your fingers and get it back to the way it was? Yeah. Alrighty, we're going back to the living room. This way is, this is our school room. Cool light fixture up here. My sister-in-law told me that's a mid-century 
and that she thought that was really cool. So anyways, I like it too. <laughs> this is our schoolroom, and for a little while I thought I would come and set up my schoolroom and let the girls do school while I work on the house, but that didn't happen. So my school stuff is just here. We're doing workbooks this year because that's just what's going to happen this year, and that's okay, guys. If you have to have a year of workbooks, never beat yourself up over that because workbooks and reading books, you know, we just sit and read a little bit and do some workbooks and do some life school, and that's enough. This has a transom in it, which is great, except they painted it on the outside. So I don't know how we're going to get that cleaned up. And this is a door. Yeah, okay, you knew that that's a door. But this door doesn't go anywhere. Hang on. I opened it earlier when I was... Hang on. Oh, there it goes. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> the road to nowhere starts here. I don't think I could make that into like a shelf closet. I wish I could, but I'd really like to. I don't think so. All right, this room needs tons of work, but I am so excited to have it. If you have a lot of kids, you know how exciting a gigantic laundry room is. Woohoo! Uh, <laughs> I'll put my washer over there, my dryer there, and look, I got a cabinet, and another cabinet, and another cabinet, and a drying rack, and a folding table, and another drying rack. I mean, seriously, guys, it's like heaven. Yes, it needs a ton of work. And this room is probably going to, at some point, have to be, like, major time spent on it. Um, but... This is awesome. <laughs> this makes me so excited. All right, we're gonna go back through. Oh, there's the light turned on. Yeah. We're gonna come back through here and go to the last little room, which isn't all that exciting, but I wanted to show it to you. Um, at one point in time, someone made this into a super cute little nursery, but we don't have any babies, but I'm going to show you this cool ceiling that somebody painted. Isn't that awesome? And I'm sad that more than likely we're just going to paint over it, but I guess not everything lasts forever, but that's a really cool paint job that whoever did that. It's very talented. And I want to show you this. It's a headboard. And the previous owners left it here. And even with a bed frame. And it's a queen. And my husband and I have a queen bed. And we've never in our life had a headboard. So there's our headboard. So excited. It's wood, so I'll probably paint it to whatever we want it to look like. And it will look Awesome, I hope. All right, and then he does have a closet, a tiny like cupboard. Thankfully, this is why it's the boys' room and nobody else's, but see, like it's got that cool hardware on it I love. And then he's just got a tiny little closet in there. But he's a boy, so hopefully it will be enough, and if not, we will work something out for him. That's pretty cool. Anyways, that is the end of the tour. Okay, that is our upstairs and I'm so excited to have shown it to you. Uh, if you haven't seen our other videos, I will tell you really quick, we have a ha the house is 2,850 square feet. It was built in 1929. Uh, it has an acre of land and a small barn shed. It's like, it's really cute, it's outside. Yeah, because they're not usually inside. But um, <laughs> we did, we paid $101 for the house, and I will explain that whole story in a future video. Uh, but we're just so excited to be here. And obviously, as you walked around, you could see there's so much potential, so much here, but there's still a lot of work. And 
So we hope you'll come back. Uh, my husband is good at doing things, but he does not want to be on the video. And I am not good at doing things. So <laughs> I'm doing my things and he's doing his things. And when we both, when one of us finishes our things, I guess we'll move in. <laughs> we'll see. So I hope you'll come back and uh, keep checking it out. I have a lot of painting that I've been doing. So if you don't like painting, I guess don't come back. But if you do, no, actually, come back and hear the rest of the story. And also, I'm going to try to get an outside tour as well. Lots to see. So, thank you. Thanks for coming by. And if you liked it, I guess, give me a thumbs up. I always hate asking for that. I'm not a salesman. So, anyways, thanks again. And God bless.